and you and you're not retaining this man in your knowledge. You're retaining this man in your knowledge. So you're not giving yourself over to Romans 1 and 20. And even as they did not like to retain Alahim in the knowledge, Alahim gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignities, whispers, backbiters, haters of Alahim, despiteful, proud, bolsters, inventive of evil things, disobedient to parents, without, un without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. Who knowing the judgment of Elohim that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. See if you haven't come over here to, to James. James 4. And 6. Make it James 4 and 5. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain the ruach that dwell in us lust to envy? But he gave more con, wherefore Elohim resist the proud, but give con unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to Elohim, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And draw nigh to Elohim, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. Purify your hearts, ye double mind. See, and when you double mind, and we talk about that, that's to have doubt. So if you're going to purify your heart according to this pure heart that we see according to what we're looking at in Psalms 24, you need the son's thoughts to purify your mind. The way I say the regeneration of Ruach HaKadosh and the renewing of the mind, the washing of regeneration, which is given unto us by Yahusha HaMashiach. You have to have the son's mind. Be afflicted and mourn, weep, let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of Yahuwah and he shall lift you up. Come on back to Psalm 24. And then the last thing he says is, nor sworn deceitfully. That word for sworn is Shabbat, Shabbat, to swear or to take an oath. So you have not taken an oath and lied. That's why the book says it's better for you to have not sworn than to swear and to not do. Listen when he say verse 5. He shall receive the Baruch, Baruching from Yahuwah and righteousness from the Elohim and his salvation. And what is that you're going to receive? The Ruach HaKadah. Because you have clean hands. So you're pure and you're innocent is because you walk in Yahushua HaMashiach as we've established. You have a pure heart because you have the son's thoughts. You haven't lifted yourself up. So therefore you've humbled yourself and therefore you don't swear and be lying and say you're going to do something and that's not what you're going to do. And that way you will receive the Ruach HaKadosh. This is the generation of them that seek seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Salah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the Malik of esteem shall come in. Who is the Malik of esteem? Yahuwah strong and mighty, Yahuwah mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, you everlasting doors, and the Malik of esteem shall come in. He said, you everlasting doors. Yes, Lizzie. That word for everlasting is Olam. We've talked about that before doors. Go to Revelation chapter 3. He say, open up you everlasting doors. That word for door is patak. And it's the opening or the doorway of the entrance. The pay, the tet, and the cot. Yeah, you might want to put that down. So, when we look at these doors, you got the pay, which is the mouth, or the opening, or the entrance, which that word means. So, the opening or entrance. We have the tet. Which is a given secrecy, the baskets around or contain. So the opening contains separation. When we look at that cot. Or the opening contains 
protection. Revelation chapter 3. Man, man, three and twenty. Man, man. Man, man. Man, man. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him. And I will sup with him and he with me. All you got to do is open the doors. Open the doors. And he will enter in. And he will come and sup with me. John chapter 14. 14 and 21. He that have my commandments and keep them, he it is that love me. And he that love me shall be loved of my Abba, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. There goes that manifestation again. Judah saith unto him, Not Israel, Master, how is it thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? Yahusha answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Abba will love him. And will come unto him. And make a, he said, if a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Abba will love him, and he will come unto me and make our abode with him. If you open yourself in, he will enter in. Who is the Malik of esteem? Yahuwah of host. This is Psalm 24. He is the Malik of esteem. Selah. So, when we look at what Yahusha did to begin to reign, it's because of his abstaining from sin and transgression. But Matthew 13, 52, we'll stop right here. Though. Just because we talk about this Monday. Or well, 13, 51. Yahushua saith unto them, Have you understood all these things? They say unto him, Yea, Master. Then he said unto them, Therefore every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of Shamahim is like unto a man that is a householder. Which bring forth out of his treasure things new and old. So hallelujah for Yahusha and the word. You understood all that care?